Welcome back to MMA School. In today's video, we're talking about Volkanovski vs. Islam Mahachev, Hamzat Shemaev's return, Paddy Pimblett vs. Logan Paul battle, and Aljamain Sterling's future plans. Stay tuned and subscribe if you don't want to miss the coolest MMA news. Coming in first, Alex Volkanovski is bulking up for the Champ Champ fight. We are so excited for the Champ Champ fight against Islam Mahachev and Alexander Volkanovski, which is just a week from now in Perth, Australia. However, Volkanovski is not that excited about bulking up and eating 4,000 calories a day. It must be tough for a small guy to bulk up to lightweight division. His life is all about eating and training. He said, I'm bulking at the moment. It's the fucking worst. I'm eating over 4,000 calories. It's ridiculous. It's the worst. While Volkanovski has only a single loss in his career, that happened in 2013 against Corey Nelson. He's not expecting to have an easy win over Islam. He's smart to acknowledge the challenge that he's up against Habib and his boys, not only Islam. Meanwhile, Volkanovski is preparing for the ground battle with BJJ specialist Craig Jones to take his game to the next level. What are your predictions, guys? Are you up for Mahachev or Volkanovski? Let us know in the comments below. Before we continue, we want to thank you for supporting MMA School. You guys are the best. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Coming up, Hamzat Chimeyev is ready for his next fight. We have not seen this guy Hamzat Chimeyev for a while now. After the controversial weigh-in troubles he went through in April 2022, he managed to take the win against Gilbert Burns in a heavy battle. Definitely his toughest fight to date, especially since the UFC couldn't match him up with anyone at welterweight or middleweight. Despite that, the Boris has been relentlessly training and just recently started a fight camp with Tiger Muay Thai in Phuket, Thailand. From the looks of it, he might not stick around at welterweight and also watch him release the Kraken on his sparring partner. We understand why the potential opponents are afraid of the big guy and refuse to fight against him, which has been the case for many months now. Good news is that we will definitely see Hamzat fighting this year. The question is, who will take on that challenge? Who do you want to see him fight next? Leave a name in the comments below. Onto a social media feud between the two loudmouths. Patty Pimblett talks trash about the Paul brothers in Prime. The world would be a boring place without Patty Pimblett, who is always super critical and vocal. As we already know, Logan Paul and fellow social media star KSI just signed a big money deal with his Prime Hydration drink and has become the official sports drink of the UFC. Well, huge deal indeed. And it's funny to see how the big brother Logan partners up with the little brother's Paul arch enemy, Dana White. Why did Patty post a trash talking video? It was a reply to Logan's previous video, where he compares Gatorade's electrolyte drink with his prime drink broken down to sugar dosage and calorie intake. Patty went on promoting his drink, Body Fuel, that seems to have an even better compound of ingredients, or does it? Paul got furious as Patty used misleading illustration during the video saying, he associated our brand with a cheap, copycat beverage brand and made a comparison video that is identical to the video I made. And he lied in the video. He poured out sugar at one point in the video to show Prime's two grams of sugar, and he poured a shitload of it. I could technically sue the shit out of you just for that misinformation, and that's a fact. Well, eventually Logan Paul still got the better of it as they sign the deal and the Prime logo will be all over the UFC and the Octagon. Will you guys try the new Prime drink? Let us know how you liked it. Before we move on to the next knockout news, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Aljamain Sterling is planning to move up to 145. The Bantamweight champ feels that he has done enough in this division and ready to jump up to featherweight. But first, he has to finish Triple C Henry Cejudo which has been postponed to May 2023 due to his biceps injury. He's currently going through stem cell treatment in Colombia. While the pain looks real, Sean O'Malley bluntly said that he believed that Aljo is lying about his bicep injury to avoid contenders. Aljo was in the cage holding Muay Thai pads for Marab. And Thai pads are the worst. Someone kicks you powerfully. It just jams your bicep tendons and everything. It can't be that bad if you're holding pads. I wonder if he's using that to kind of just be able to chill. Like, I'm injured, I'm injured, so everyone can't expect him to fight then. 
Well, Sterling is focused on recovering 100% as soon as possible, and he guaranteed that Henry Cejudo, or as he calls him, Triple Zero, is next up. Sterling is undefeated since 2017, only a knockout loss against Marlon Moraes. With an eight-fight winning streak and two successful title defenses, if he beats Cejudo in May, that will be his third title defense and breaking the UFC record for consecutive Bantamweight title defenses, which may mark the end of his Bantamweight career. Do you guys want Aljamain or Cejudo to take the win? Leave the name in the comments below. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. If you want to be updated with the coolest MMA news, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. Don't forget to keep your guard up and we'll see you in the next MMA School video. Peace.